Hello. Our kits are designed to make taking blood as easy as possible. Taking your own blood sample can be tricky, so I'm going to take you through tips and tricks to make it more likely to work for you. Let's get familiar with exactly what we've got in the kit. You have a wipe to clean your finger, lancets to prick your finger, a tube to collect your blood, a transport case, and then a plaster for when you're done. The only thing we don't include is a tissue, so grab one before you start. If you're nervous about taking your sample and think you may feel faint, you could ask a friend or relative to help. It can also really help if you drink lots of water before taking your sample. Being well hydrated helps your blood flow more easily. Next, we need to make sure your hands are warm so the blood flows easily. Wash them in warm water for a few minutes or hold a hot water bottle. Then swing your arms in a circular motion and clench and release your hands several times. Lay everything out ready on a table in front of you. Stand up if you can and you're ready to collect your sample. Remove the lid from the tube and gently push the tube into the corner of the case so that it stands up. Wipe the end of your middle finger with the cleaning wipe. If you're right-handed, you may want to take the blood from a finger on your left hand and vice versa. Twist off the top of the lancet. The safety lancet is designed to prick your finger with a small hidden needle and will only work once. Place your hand facing palm up on a firm surface to keep your finger still. Then push the lancet firmly into the side of your finger until you hear a click. Then wipe away the first drop of blood with a clean tissue. A top tip is to stand up, if you can, and gently massage your finger from the very base to the tip. It can even help if you start at your wrist and massage from there down to your fingertip. Take care not to just squeeze the tip of your finger, as this won't help the blood flow. This bit might be tricky and feel a bit strange, but stay calm and keep trying. It can take a little while to get enough blood. Once blood is flowing, carefully catch the drops in the collection tube. Try to fill the tube until it reaches the top line, which is about 15 drops of blood. Don't worry if you can't quite reach the top line. We can still do most tests if the blood is past the lower line, marked 400. It's okay if you find it hard to catch enough blood. There are extra lancets in your kit. Take a breather and then try again with a new lancet on a different finger to keep collecting blood in the tube. When you've finished, hold your finger firmly with a tissue until the blood stops. Finally, press the lid on the tube until it clicks, then gently turn the tube upside down three times and make sure you wipe down the tube if there's any blood on the outside. Place the tube in the transport case and put your sample in the box with any other samples from your kit. All you need to do now is put the package in any post box and because it's free to return, you don't need to worry about stamps. If you had problems collecting your sample and you've tried all your lancets, Get in touch with us or consider going to a local clinic.